Hello creative friends, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to my last video for the Canuary Collaborative, which has been so much fun, but I can't believe how fast January's gone. It's kind of scary. Um, like I did my last video way back at the beginning of the month and here we are already ready for a second video. It's just gone so fast. But reminder, if you haven't watched all of the other channel's videos, they're amazing. Look in the description and you'll see a list of all the channels. Go over there and check them out. It's a lot of fun to do these collaboratives and to support each other's channels. So on my very first video, I did grapefruit marmalade and that I uh, got so many messages from people telling me that they love citrus but they can't have grapefruit because of medication or some other reason so I decided I wanted to do something citrus that wasn't grapefruit so I went back to my cool little uh, book the all-new ball book of canning and preserving and FYI if you go to my main page there's a link to my Amazon shop you can get this book there and if you get it there it helps my channel out but anyway, in this book was this amazing recipe, and this recipe is called Orange Date Cardamom Preserves, and it says, mix lemon, honey, and cardamom for a Turkish-inspired preserve. Sounds amazing. So, we're going to make that, but I'll go through what we need first. First of all, you need six cups of orange sections, all sectioned and ready to go. Make sure that you do your best you can to try to get that white uh, pith off there because if you leave it, it'll make things a little bit bitter. So you want to get as much of that off as you possibly can. Half a cup of water, and then you need one lemon. You're going to squeeze the lemon and get two tablespoons of lemon juice, and then you're going to zest it and have, or two, yeah, two tablespoons of lemon juice and then you need two teaspoons of lemon zest well the problem I had was that I threw the peels away with the orange peels and I don't have them to make zest but luckily I have a bottle of the the uh, lemon peel same thing so I'm just gonna use this so I'm gonna use two teaspoons of this with my two tablespoons of lemon juice so you know what I kinda messed up but it's not the end of the world the other thing is a vanilla bean split. Um, I don't have a vanilla bean either, but um, over there, Lisa at Sutton's Days had mentioned something about vanilla bean paste, had to have some, so I ordered it. So one vanilla bean is the equivalent to one tablespoon of, yeah, tablespoon of this vanilla bean paste. So I'm gonna use that, no big deal. And then two cups of chopped, coarsely chopped and pitted, um, dates and I love these dates I like dates I don't know a lot of people who just eat dates but we love dates and I like these that you can get them at Costco and they're the the organic medjool dates and they're really good and um, love those so you'll need those you also need uh, two cups of sugar I don't have that out but I'll get that out a half a cup of honey which I have right there and one and a half teaspoons of ground cardamom right there and then a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So what happens with this is first, you just take the orange sections and the water and you put it in a stainless steel or enamel Dutch oven pot and you bring them to um, a boil and then you turn them down, reduce the heat and let them simmer and you kind of smash them with a potato masher until they're all broken up. It'll take about 15 minutes for that to happen. Once that's done, you take the um, lemon and you put them in the orange mixture and then the vanilla bean and then the dates and everything else goes in this orange mixture and you just kind of mix it up and you let it sit there and you cover you cook it over medium heat until it kind of becomes gelled so it's like that it's starting to look like jelly and I'll show you what that looks like or jam um, so, and then once you do that, you just put it in the jars and you process it for 10 minutes. So it's actually a pretty easy recipe and it's got some really interesting ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in the pot and I'm going to bring them to a boil and keep like mashing them a little bit with a potato masher until they're broken up. And then I will come back to you. But before I do that, I want to show you a secret. This is the best snack ever. So if you like pecan pie which like, I don't know very many people that don't. If you take a, a date and cut it in half or tear it in half, you can just take them and pull them apart and put the, take the pit out, put a pecan in the middle of it and you have, it tastes, you eat that. Honestly, 
it tastes like a pecan pie. Like this is the best little snacky snack, yum. So I'm gonna have those while I get those things over there boiling and I'll be back to you. Okay friends, you can see it's just smashed up. And I have this super cool thing. This actually is, is one of those Pampered Chef things. Guess I have so many Pampered Chef things you'd think I was selling Pampered Chef, but I'm not. But um, I love this thing. It's terrific for doing hamburger or mashing things up like this or for mashed potatoes. It's just a great thing. I think it's called, I don't remember what it's called, but it's, it's great. Uh, I love this thing. But if you can find this or something like it, it's worth having. So I use that to mash up my orange segments and now this is now the magic happens okay so i'm going to use my super handy little 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 stirring thing little ladle and i'm going to put in the orange juice or the lemon juice then i'm going to put in the honey and remember that tip i told you about putting um like uh, the oil spray in there and it helps it come out so it doesn't stick so bad just get yourself a little ladle and it comes right out super easy so there you are see that it doesn't stick too bad easy to come out i love using the little sprays for that it's a good deal and then we're gonna put in the vanilla bean paste another awesome flavor I feel like there's going to be so much fun to be able to use this. I feel like it's going to be a super yummy thing to have. So, here is the cardamom, one and a half teaspoons of cardamom, and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, the, what am I looking for, the lemon, and then I'm going to have two teaspoons two teaspoons of the lemon zest I forgot so I need two teaspoons of this I've got four um, I've got a half so I'm gonna put in one two because this is a half a teaspoon three four so four half teaspoons is two teaspoons and then I'm gonna put in the sugar it's obviously not a low sugar recipe yeah, you could probably just have this with a little bit of you know a little bit of it at a time and then those dates. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you, I think it already smells like something that I'm going to say is my favorite because it smells so good. Oh man, it smells good. The vanilla bean paste. And oh geez, this is good. Okay, so I'm going to mix it up. Oh man, I love this already. I'm going to mix it up nice. And then I'm going to put it on the stove and we're going to let it simmer over medium heat until it gets kind of like a gel. Like, like we, then we're gonna put it in our little jars and we're gonna process it for 10 minutes. But see how it's runny right now? We want it to cook until it's kind of thickened up a bit. And I will bring you back, I'm gonna go put this on the burner on medium heat, and I will bring you back. I'll let you know how long it took. And oh my gosh, it smells fantastic. I love the way those, those dates are gonna be terrific. I don't know what I, I you know what? This is gonna be one of those things if you put it in cream cheese and then spread it on things. Oh, I can see so much potential. All right, I'll be back. Okay, friends, this has got to be the best smelling. I'm trying to sit down because I think it helps the light. There you go. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, I'm so glad I looked that recipe up because I really think this is gonna be one I make a lot because it smells phenomenal. All right, so I am going to fill the top and I didn't even check to see how far I need to do it. Quarter of an inch head space. I didn't check that before I got ready to do this. So we're gonna leave a quarter of an inch head space. And I'm going to put this in, it's very thick. It's not a really great color, but oh my gosh, I think the flavor is just gonna not make that a, an issue at all. So good. Oh, can't wait to try this. And then, Wipe your jar edge, remember, because if you get any of this on there, your lid may not fit. It may not sit on there. It might get food in between it, and it may not seal properly. And you don't want that to happen after you went out to all the effort to make this amazing, amazing, yummy orange date cardamom preserve. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna put my little my little tool. Remember, this tool is also down there in my little Amazon. It's called the Ball Sure Tight Tool. It's down there as well. So I'm gonna fill my jars up and then I'm gonna put them in my processor. Look at the chunks of orange in there and dates in there. 
And uh, I'm going to put them in there, and I'm going to let them process for 10 minutes, and that's in a boiling water canner. And uh, when they're done, I will be back. All right, there they are, fresh out of the canner. They're still hot and boiling and popping. And you know what? I wanted to tell you, it took about 15 minutes for it. I told you I'd tell you how long it take, took to get it uh, to the jelling point, and it took about 15 minutes. So this is so good. I was trying to think of all the ways you could do it. And honestly, I think it'd be really good, you know, like on a ham sandwich. I'm serious. Or uh, rolled up with some cream cheese and a piece of ham in a tortilla for little, you know, cut little slices in little rounds as an hors d'oeuvre. This is really good. I know I'm going to have a bunch of this a lot on my pantry shelf and I might as well leave a couple jars up here and not take them down to my pantry because I think we're going to eat this up pretty quick. So anyway, you know, thanks for watching the Canuary. Thanks for visiting the other channels. And as always, thanks for watching.